Let's talk about those medications. How do you decide if somebody comes in and the first time they know they have high blood pressure, how do you decide what to give them? Well, if they don't have any other medical problems, if they don't have heart disease or diabetes, uh, then we start off with a diuretic. We start off with a thiazide diuretic. It's inexpensive, it's been around a long time, and it's effective. It reduces your risk of other events, cardiovascular events, things like strokes. So that's the HCTZ that we see. Um, generic, okay. Generic, pennies a day. You know, so it's safe, it's effective, you know, and it's cost effective. But there are some side effects to them. Yeah, I was going to mention, what are the side effects? If, if it's good and cheap, there's well, bound it, to be real bad side effects. It, you know, it, it's the, the biggest thing is you have to watch your potassium. These thiazide diuretics, they deplete your body potassium. So you have to, a lot of times you have to take it in combination with another diuretic. And then you also have to have laboratory monitoring to make sure that your potassium levels don't go low. And then you start having leg cramps, and you start having muscle aches. And Fatigue. People don't, don't feel like good. that. Don't, yeah. Just don't so. feel good. Uh, do you replace it with a potassium pill, or can you, can you use certain foods, orange juice and bananas and potatoes? Well, I like to tell people to eat, you know, eat those bananas and fruits and vegetables because it's good for you. Yeah. So, so a lot of people can replace with that just eating a good, healthy diet. Some people need a potassium replacement. Some people, we have to add another medication that helps add the potassium. Now, you said if they don't have any other medical problems, I inferred that there are different uh, medicines you have to take. For instance, if you've got diabetes, do you approach it differently? Uh, if you have diabetes, we change our mindset a little bit. We use something called an ACE inhibitor. So an ACE inhibitor helps block something called angiotensin converting enzyme. That's a big medical word, uh, aren't they? And basically, long story short is this ACE inhibitor helps protect the kidneys and the eyes and, di and diabetes. Yeah, and diabetes so. leading cause of blindness and amputation, so you have to really think about what kind of medicines you're giving. So they're called ACE inhibitors. Side effects? Well, ACE inhibitors also are, you know, they're effective, they work real well, so they're safe, and, and they're, they're generic now. So, but side effects, uh, cough. You see a cough in about four out of 100 people. So and it's a nagging cough, and it's, it's reversible. It's, you're not stuck with it for life, but, but it is a nagging. And then, you know, rare side effects. So like angio, where you, your face blows up, but that's, you know, that's very rare. Those are rare. So it's really a good medicine, reasonably safe. If you get a nagging cough, think about it. Could be the blood pressure medicine, medicine that's done. Um, got heart disease, heart attack, um, high blood pressure. Uh, do you think of different medicines with that? Yeah, your heart patients, they need a beta blocker. So, and that slows the heart down, gives the heart a chance to relax, and also helps prevent the, the bad signal you see on ER, you, you know, yeah, the, the, the ventricular the, tachycardia. Yeah, yeah so, so we use a beta blocker there. And those medications are, you know, again, they're safe and effective, but it has a side effect. It kind of slows you down. It slows your heart down, but it also slows you down in general. So, so it makes you feel sort of sluggish, maybe, if you're on a beta blocker. Uh, what does it do to the pulse? So it slows the heart rate down as well. So yeah, it makes people think they're in shape because their rate's about 60, you know, and they think, well, they're in real good shape. But it's the medicine that does that. That's right. Uh, uh, asthma, can it make asthma worse? It, it, you know this answer, so <laughs> it, it certainly can. can. But the newer ones don't seem to affect the lungs as much, and so that's, that's, that's true. really, really good. So we've got a diuretic, a thiazide. We've got an ACE inhibitor that uh, cause, could cause a nagging cough. We've got beta blockers, what, what else? Well, there are newer medications, and as we go into the newer medications, they're more expensive. We don't have generics there, but they have less side effects. So we have an angiotensin receptor blocker, so, and those work very well. And, and the side effects really are about the same as placebo. We don't see a whole lot of side effects from them. Calcium channel so blockers, do you use cal those for blood pressure? Calcium channel blockers are, are very effective, especially in certain populations. African Americans, very effective. And in patients who are difficult to treat, very effective.